can't tell if that's cloud cover and haze rolling in or rain over there. I think it's just haze, right? That is rain! Hey everybody, Syntax77 here. And by here, I mean the great state of Pennsylvania. It is late July, about three days off. Gonna do two nights of backpacking up here on a little loop called the Old Logger's Path. And I am actually, if you can tell by that pack that doesn't look like mine, not alone on this one. I have a hiking companion. Hello. My friend Dave there. Now, if you're a longtime viewer, and you have a good memory, bonus points to you because I've actually hiked with him before um, on a trip out in Utah. We were both just talking about it. I think it was back in 2017. It was a, it was a while ago. It was, it was at least four years. Go back and check the film. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to go back and do a, uh, a check on that data. But that was out in Utah. Dave actually works for Outdoor Vitals and I was out there. I did a trip with him and some of his coworkers. And the nice thing about being cool with somebody who works for me for a gear company is that um, sometimes they give you new gear to play with. So we're gonna um, try out a new uh, tent system. We'll get into all that as we go. I got my pack over there. It looks like Dave is probably, I think you're running lighter than me from looking at it. Maybe. I, got, I got a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, uh, we're going to a dry site tonight. Um, but there's my pack. I'm probably flirting with 10 pounds in the nine pound region. Um, I did because of the temperatures, it's gonna be pretty hot. So I don't have a puffy jacket and whatnot, but I did swap that out weight wise for a saw and some rain gear because as usual, there is a threat of rain every day, but that's kind of par for the course. So I'm gonna put the pack on and we'll get onto the trail here, right up this road. There we go. That's a serious hearth right there. That's cool. Uh, I get this is supposed to be like one of the campsites yeah there should be an auto bridge that we cross there's the orange blaze which is what we're going to be following for the next three days and about 27 miles right now it's about 3 p.m or a little after so sunset is around 8 20. we're just going to try to pop like five miles um, it is a dry site but there's great views because i have done this loop before eh, a couple years ago I did it the opposite direction, so we're going to switch it up this time and break up the miles a little different. So five today, and then we'll, I don't know, we're going to kind of wing it with the last 22 miles. Uh, see what happens on day two and three. But pretty soon we'll be getting off of this gravel road and into the woods. We had read that it's pretty dry around here. Luckily, halfway through tomorrow, maybe even earlier, there's some pretty substantial water crossings. Um, Pleasant Stream can actually be dangerous, or I should say a little sketchy after a heavy rainfall. That'll be tomorrow. <clears throat> and then Doe Run, um, if we go about 12 miles tomorrow, has a shelter and pretty reliable water. But all of the minor stuff appears to be pretty dry. Um, typically, like in the spring here, I would say, you could come and only carry like a liter at a time. You hit these little minor things pretty often. What we have not hit, and I'm happy about, is any raindrops yet. Which some, I think they said any time after three could happen. Oh, yep. Feel that. Raindrops. Trees will help with the cover though. Yeah, no, at least we are under some decent cover. So if it doesn't rain that long, we might not feel it. There's another alleged water source, not too far in front of us. Probably will be dry. And we're at three miles now, so I think we got maybe one more little like dippy up and down, but I think the bulk of our elevation we got, which is only like a thousand feet today. I'm trying to remember where to go, but that giant arrow <laughs> makes it pretty apparent. 
Now there's your puddle if you're really desperate. <laughs> I think we're good. I probably haven't drank enough water to be honest. Still got 2.9 liters out of three. That doesn't look bad. It wouldn't be the end of the world to take that if you had to. I think this is, this is actually what was marked on my GPS as a water source. We were just talking about cell phone service, which around here died for us, I think maybe 15 minutes out driving. So don't expect cell, uh, cell service around here. But I do have the spot messenger that we can send messages on if needed. I feel like it's actually opening up a little bit around here. So going down to that water source, I think was our dip. Now back up, a nice vista and a spot for tents, but there is a shelter there. Oh, there you go. Sprout point, oh, it is sprout. I don't know why, I saw something that said sprout, but that must've been a typo. Sprout point vista that way and the shelter it doesn't mention the shelter but that's where the shelter is too and campsite with a view i don't even know what time it is i haven't been paying attention 5 30. decent amount of daylight that certainly wasn't a terrible five miles Yeah, and I think the vista's down that way. I just can't remember where the tent spots were, if they were near the shelter or down there. Make sure there's no, huh? Nice roof in the house. I know, it's not a bad shingle job, right? Even a trowel. Awesome. Not bad. I don't see an obvious tent area here. I always drop the packs and poke around. It's in good shape. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Get that off my back for a moment. Whew. Okay, a little meadow area. There's another fire pit over here too. Not bad. Some clouds rolling in. Yeah. It's not too bad for Pennsylvania view. I may have been incorrect in my memory that there's a big tent area, but like you said, I'm not above just being in the shelter if there's nobody else coming. I guess you could put something there, obviously. Mm -hmm. it's all up to you. I don't mind. I mean, I'm lazy, so I've been doing that more often recently. And then if we did push it tomorrow to like a more, you know, regular campsite, then we could pitch the tents and get them wet and <laughs> shove them in our bags on the last day wet and roll out. Doesn't look terribly beat up. I mean, as far as like pieces of wood for a fire too. There's way more wood up there. Yeah, good. All right. Oh, you already got a nice little pile going. You hear them messing around. Get the folding saw. If we have anything bigger. Got that guy. F-180. Tried and true. Broke the tip off, but still works. Nice. Shovel some of this out. Yeah. Got nothing else to help. Nope. That is correct. Nothing better to do. Alright, so at this point I think we're going to collect some firewood, get a little fire going. If anything, the smoke will... We definitely don't need the heat, but it would be nice to have something to uh, stare at and the smoke just might keep these bugs away. It's always nice. 
Oh, you got a TP popping already? Yeah. Very cool. Let's get some fire starters out. Power up, buddy. Oh. It's, just like, it's like wax. Oh. So it's, it almost looks like fibrous. Yeah, you can feel it if you want. It's like. Oh, that's crazy. All right, let's give that a shot then. I like it. Pyro putty. Almost looks like um, insulation. Smoking. A little smudge fire. Let that get started a little bit. Just going pads in the uh, shelter, I think is the executive decision. Tomorrow, I would say we have to push, we should push at least 10, but considering how we knocked out these first five, I wouldn't be surprised if we knock out 15, which would put us at arguably the best campsite on this loop um, at the confluence of Rock Run and Yellow Dog Run, in which case no shelter there and we would actually set up tents. But this little budget pad, I think, is all I'm going to do tonight. That and a 40-degree quilt. The low tonight, whew, a frigid 68 degrees. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing sounds great when you blow it up. It's kind of a cross between a locomotive and Darth Vader. What I really like to do is have this pad when I show up at a shelter at, like, 11 p.m. and there's already people in. breaths or so it blows up though. All done. About as easy as it gets for setting up. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna need that quilt, but I'll just put it there as ceremoniously. But I have a feeling it's not gonna be very cold. Look, I still got my pillow. I yeah. actually hadn't used this in a while because my oh. wife my wife stole it. And it wasn't in my normal gear repertoire. Doesn't sound like a locomotive when you're it. Yeah, chicken teriyaki. Pro pack. Oh, now these are the way I'm used to seeing them. They're what? The pro pack, like the vacuum seal. Yeah. I swear I've seen them recently, but they're not. It's vacuum seal? Yeah. I haven't, these are, this is old. I don't know when I have this. this That's the way I'm used to seeing them. Yeah, I like them, like. Because they take up less room. Yeah. I, I need to start getting, like, the one serving, one and a half servings, too. Like, I feel like this is too much. And yeah, I like these, I like these peaks. Those are a lot of times. Well, oh, my God. Like, for a day like today, this yeah, is so overkill. Yeah. What, ones are those? Mm. Those are pie ones. That's good. Chicken pesto pasta. 920. I did not burn that today. And beef pasta marinara, 1,040 calories. Or on a day like today, I could for a dollar 25 at Big Lots do 280 times two. Oh no, that's still 500, but it's better than a thousand. Yeah. 500 calories of Northside, the budget choice. This is... I feel like that's why I used to get pork pack. Yeah, how many? 460. Yeah, they're more reasonably portioned. That works. I'm going to try to attempt what my friend Kyle said they did on the Appalachian Trail, which was to pour water directly into this package and fold the top over. If it doesn't work, I blame Kyle. Or burn you. <laughs> yeah, if I don't get third degree burns, I will be deeply disappointed. We have a boil. All right, so OSHA protocol. I put it in this cup so it doesn't fall over. And maybe we can even still smash the lid on top for maximum. Oh, this handle gets pretty hot. Oh, yeah. Well, luckily it feels all right, but I'm going to be very careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, got it. It's a little warm, but we're making it. Will two cups fit? Pretty much. That's good. Let's 
give it a little stir. I'm realizing now I don't know if he was only referring to the pasta sides and not necessarily rice, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, I do have this variety pack of very healthy drink mixes. Country Time Lemonade, Island Fruit Punch, and I might have basically moonshine, <laughs> which is very weight conscious. So if you would like to make a cocktail, very careful. You only want like a tablespoon to equal a shot of vodka. <laughs> Classy, that's how we keep it. All right, a little dinner with a view. Came over here, got a rock chairs, my alleged dinner, cocktail, and uh, it hasn't rained, so it is about perfect. Depending on if my rice dish comes out, then it'll be perfect. It's been like 15 minutes plus. Let's see. A little soupy. It's like Spanish rice soup so far. Actually, it is soaking up the water the more it sits. I'm going to give it a win. It's better than cleaning my pot later. Mm hmm. It worked. It's calories, but not a thousand calories. So, I think we're going to chill here, enjoy the view and a meal, and we'll probably return to camp fire will be dead <laughs> we'll deal with that and then uh i did break out a little surprise i brought the projector the ricky projector so i was going to save it for tomorrow but i think the shelter wall is probably the best bet for a um projector screen that we're gonna get so might do a movie tonight i can't tell if that's cloud cover and haze rolling in or rain over there I think it's just haze, right? I thought I heard thunder before. Oh, good. good. I wasn't sure. I'll just pretend there was a train in the distance. Oh, that's all right. We got a shelter. We can make this work. Nice. There's a bunch of wood behind there. So I'm just it, yeah. Put it there. Some that's caught up, like somebody cut. Oh, really? Logs and stuff. Too. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not too pit clean. It's nice. Oh yeah, I guess I should have my headlamp ready. It's gonna creep up on me. Yeah. What was it? Seven something? Right now? Yeah. Seven forty. There it goes. I believe the rain is here. I'm not upset about having a roof over my head. Yep. Can't complain. Fire's kicked off. We're just chilling, hanging out. If you can see me, it's obviously pretty dark already. Got my headlamp ready. Just gonna hang out. Do whatever we feel like, basically. And then uh, tomorrow will be a little more physical activity, probably. We'll see some good sights. See how the water crossing looks. That's probably, I want to say, five miles from here is the most substantial water crossing called Pleasant Stream. But I think it can be more than a stream. But based on how dry it is around here, we're not going to have a problem with it. But that will be tomorrow. So today was a good day. No complaints. Under here, you know, who cares? No, I mean... Probably great to sleep in. Yep, I I would love to listen to rain on the roof while I go to sleep, so... I'll take it. There's a fine line between tough and crazy and you're flirting with it. Good morning, everyone. It's a little after six o'clock. 
it might not look very bright in here but it's getting bright out there it rained pretty good a couple times last night came and went got some decent bands of rain that came through dave is uh retrieving the food bag we did hang our food up last night um there are black bears around here as well as other little pesky critters that can get into your food so probably have some coffee um not in a super hurry but yeah we'll have some coffee and then we'll get at it pack up my sleeping pad unfortunately something told me to check it before i left and then another devil on my shoulder told me yeah it's summer what's the worst that can happen if it uh has a leak and you have to sleep on the ground well that is what happened um about every two hours it would be fully deflated and i would just end up with my hip fully in contact with the boards uh at least i had my pillow <laughs> at least something didn't leak um so i may have to take a look at that and when we get to camp tonight i do i think i have a patch kid uh patch kit in my first aid kit if i really want to be adventurous but like i said luckily it wasn't cold so I, it's not you know it's not like i was being cold i was just laying on two by fours or four by fours whatever they are but not the end of the world nothing that a little coffee won't fix and it looks like according to my thermo drop the low is what we're at right now about 69 degrees we're exactly 69 degrees but it felt pretty good there was a little bit of a breeze last night i actually pulled the quilt fully over top of me once or twice so i'm slowly packing up and um yeah, we just got some fog rolling in it's kind of nice with the ferns and whatnot so we're just kind of chilling out having some coffee and we'll head out there's the little projector i didn't show you last night but about the size of a can of coke or sprite or any soda um just put it on a camera tripod and it worked fine for our entertainment last night but anyway yeah decent morning so far looks like thunderstorms possibly around noon as long as there isn't lightning when i'm on a ridge because there's a couple dry campsites that are supposed to be pretty cool that are up on the ridges but yeah you probably wouldn't want to be there during a storm we'll just have to wait and see once we get back on the trail all packed up 7 30. could be yeah. the, could be the earliest i've left camp in a very long time but i'm fine what do you do i'm lazy i probably would have laid on the, if you weren't here i would have laid on that pad another at least half hour just like yeah i'm gonna get up soon <laughs> yeah i guess i don't know 100 percent. usually it's like it'd be eight something easily and i'll be like yeah i should probably go all right see if this fog burns off before we get to um i think it'll actually it'll definitely burn off by the time we get the sharp top vista which is after the stream There's allegedly five water sources, so this I think is the first one tag that we hit. There's a deeper one over here. <laughs> Just don't get any tadpoles in your filter. So, yeah, I'm fine. Keep moving. Can't tell if that's actually rain or just wind making the drips come off. Oh, semi fresh tree down. Yeah, very fresh. Last night.
Right. Cool little area. Because I think it's all like stinging nettle. <laughs> It is sticky and humid, but this should be our last little push here, a little steep section to get to the top of Sharp Top Vista, which is pretty cool and wide open. Maybe has a breeze, which I will gladly take right now. I'm not sure what the temp is, but we started at 69, <laughs> so I think it's getting back up there. The, uh, allegedly the high today is only 83. So maybe it's just humidity and going uphill, but it feels about, <laughs> feels like 90 already. We'll get there, hopefully. I can see sky through those trees for the first time in a while so i think we should break out of the trees up here and see a beautiful view of fog <laughs> congratulations and your reward is a bench. a bench. I mean, I'll gladly take my pack off and put it down and eat something finally. Haven't done that yet. Oh. oh my God. Check the thermometer out and see what the temp really is. I feel like it's not that hot. It's probably, it's just the uphill and the humidity. Uh, yeah, for sure. Me being not in shape, but there's a host of factors. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's only gone up one degree. It's it's only seventy degrees. I feel like I'm dying, and it's seventy degrees. Oh, uh, oh well. Have a snack. Drink some of my limited water, and soak in the fog. Cashews and kiwi. Pretty good. Back into the fog. This is where we leave the road. I'm trying to remember, I don't know if this is actually like, I don't know if just the forest service uses this. I don't know if you can really drive up here or not. I feel like if you could, that would be like party, party central up there. An intersection of sorts. What do we got? OLP. Oh, Maston. That's where we started. Old Logger's Path. It goes across here. It looks like straight shot, not trail miles. Um, Maybe three quarters of a mile is actual pleasant stream where it's guaranteed water. Okay. I got about a cup, you got a cup. We just got to make it to the stream. <laughs> Welcome back to the East Coast. Humidity and dampness. I feel like it seems like the fog is lifting. Definitely losing some elevation now. Our hard earned elevation. Definitely hear water. Yeah, if this is pleasant stream up here, then I think this is where, if we had gotten here earlier in the day and flip-flop things, I was going to target uh, camping around here. Which looks like it would have been 
doable. Still got rock chips. <laughs> um, oh look, either somebody's here or somebody oh, yeah. made a real mistake. That sucks. Six, two six liters? Maybe somebody's around, that seems. That is a lot of water. Hmm. I don't see any other signs of life. But I'm pretty sure it's oh where are the orange blazes? There's one there. I think it goes here and we cross here. Now they say this can be pretty difficult after heavy rain. I mean we're not gonna have a problem, but yeah, there's an orange blaze. Like even when I was here last time, it wasn't super heavy flow, but I'm pretty sure this was water. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is not life-threatening conditions, but it is drinking water. That is nice. You're not gonna have any problem getting water from that. A little lunch break? Plenty of water? I'm down with that 100%. Yeah, it looks like an easy skip right across. We're not even gonna get our feet wet. Awesome. You wanna cook a little something up? Yeah, I might make some ramen. Just enjoy the view, too. There's actually a little bit of blue sky up there. Believe it or not. clear it's a nice little lunch break spot and now we just continue to follow the orange blazes at this point we are um roughly halfway to doe run shelter which would be 12 miles total um and we're five going on six right now so we might target that i mean it's well, it was 10.30, I don't know what it is now. 11 o'clock or something? Uh, yeah, it's 11. Yeah, well, campsite over there too. This is that point in the day though where I feel like time slips away from me. I go from like, when it's like nine or 10, it's like the whole world is open. And then 11 o'clock, I'm like, I still got this. Next thing I know, it's like 3.30. I'm like, what happened? Uh, I guess you're having a good time. I was having a good time. Yeah. Luckily, there hasn't been too much mud on the trail, which apparently can be a major issue here. I mean, it poured last night, too. Yeah, it did. It was coming down pretty good. Yeah, that was my first shelter experience, and I was really? very happy to be. It was easy, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. That rain, I'd have to wake up and... Have a wet tent. Yeah. No, it's pretty... I, I really avoided it, uh, the shelter thing, like I was saying, for like years, but... <laughs> I've been more open to it after trying it a few times myself. It's a little steep. A steep. A little slippery. It's an obstacle. Yeah. So you can immediately burn off your ramen soup. Yeah, it did look from looking at the map that Obviously, we dipped down to the stream. And I want to say, only look like a few hundred feet right here. to go up. And yeah, I guess it's all right here. Well, at least it leveled out. Back to the old railroad grade, that narrow gauge railroads they would use for the wood or uh, logging. That's what most of these trails used to be. So we're on the other side of the mountain. We're getting a moss now. 
at this point it is about 12 45 in the afternoon pushing up on nine miles and change sullivan mountain vista should be up here once we get up on this ridge we'll get a little view there was a pipeline but it's kind of grown in it wasn't it wasn't as impressive as i remember before but i'm thinking the fog is gone we might actually get some views up here and then like two and a half three miles from the shelter with water and five miles from rock run and yellow dog confluence if i can get my legs to go up this hill we did finally though put one of my hiking poles to use which honestly i should be using like i finally bring them i could totally be using it let's see what this ridge has to offer we can actually see another ridge for the first time since last night at dinner i think some more moss campsite over there it's probably a pretty nice dry campsite but probably pretty nice and puffy clowns it said thunderstorms at noon I think we dodged that. We either dodge that bullet or it's on a different path schedule. I feel like we might, might have gotten away. Trail definitely mellowed out. I feel like we've been putting some miles down since that vista, though, or just in general. Should be relatively close at this point to Doe Run Shelter. I'm just trying to keep my eyes peeled. I can't I don't think you can see it from the trail I think you, there's a little spur trail to it and then a water source nearby now we're not to what's actually tagged as the water source yet because we haven't passed the shelter but if that's the same body of water doesn't look amazing <sighs> positive thoughts I, actually, I still have a half liter on my back, too. Oh, there's the shelter right there. So, that probably is it. Oh, yeah. Me and my faulty memory. So, the shelter is right on the trail, and the water source probably would have been that. But, we'll see. Pretty cool little spot, though. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not bad. Where are we going up here? Yep. So we have got a little intel from the solo hiker back there. It is dry until basically where we plan to camp, um, which should be roughly three miles from, from here. So, got about a half liter each. I feel like I wouldn't consider that dry. I don't know, my definition. That? Yeah. No, no, it's definitely not. Like, if we, like you said, if we were really needing it, like just dip a cup in there and. Yeah. It, I, I've drank way worse than that before. But I, I can probably milk what I have until we get to camp, so it's all good. Just keep plugging along. There should be um, our final, like, big vista somewhere between here and the um, camp target. And the weather feels like it cleared out, so just might work out well for us this time. That wind in the trees picking up. This is our thunderstorm. It's three hours late. I would like the tent set up before that happens, ideally. I will say, kind of nice to have the hiking pole back. 
just a little extra confidence on the rocks and the um if it was any muddier too that would definitely would help me out i think for this kind of terrain though like the one pole is perfect the right balance thankfully dave stopped to get some headphones because we saw this yellow arrow which i figured was just a minor trail but as we were stopped i checked my phone to see our progress and that's actually the last vista at least for today uh down here overlooking rock run which is the body of water that we're going to camp on um a couple more miles up ahead so let's go see what it looks like At least it's not fogged in. Clouds are a little dark, but not too bad. Not gonna jinx it, but I think we'll make it another couple miles, hopefully. This almost feels like another pipeline clearing too. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe this is the one I was thinking of. You can see a little more, but still like, I feel like before it I wasn't as grown in. take it mm -hmm. <laughs> should be the pretty much the home stretch now see what we do here this is the section where we're on the road for a little bit again Back into the ferns. Campsite with flowing water. If you want to grab some, it's pretty quick to do. Or not. Yeah, just be free. Oh, yeah, that's got a tinge to it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can see how you might want to replace that. So this is not our target campsite, um, but it's not bad. It's right next to that road, practically. Um, but it has water, but we're going to push this last mile and uh get to rock run as soon as we fill up a little bit more water a little after three o'clock feeling pretty good i'm dreaming about my 1040 calorie pasta marinara it's getting hit tonight no doubt about that actually getting some coniferous trees in the mix Definitely giving some elevation back. Our hard earned elevation is going away. Well, I guess it's a good thing that we left at 7.30 after all. We'll be here earlier than we made it to camp yesterday, which is cool. Um, so considering that we're not doing the shelter thing, we're setting up tents, it'd be nice to have some decent amount of daylight and time to uh, get set up see where we want to pick too there should be a hopefully um depending who else is in the area there should be a variety of um a couple different options that we can do down here this could be the hill that never ends though kind of feels like it loose rocks well, there's a backup spot and then down here i think it's the two ideal ones because down here is where there's like the um swimming pool but if it was busier i think i even see something through the trees over here yeah, here we go so trail tomorrow look at that mud tomorrow we'll go up there it'll be about six miles to get back to the trailhead over here there's like a steep drop off and like a, i like to call it a mini canyon it's pretty cool Yeah. Yeah, let's call it a gorge. So that's pretty nice. I think if you go around that way, there's a way to get down over there. There's the, oh, the real deep pools over there, actually. And then if we double back over here, we can um, check out the campsite on the other side. 
There was a YMCA group, a fairly big one. We two of them. I think they were probably together, girls group and a guys group. Um, from talking to them, they are headed here, but there's nobody else here, so they're going to be just fine. And I would imagine they'll probably pluck off these first sites that are real obvious. But just from being here last time, I do know there's some opportunity over here that might be a little more in the cut. As long as, as, long as I don't slip and fall on this wet slate shale. Not too bad. Totally up to you. I mean, you can be more on the water and right next to it, or you can be back in the cut. Actually, I feel like there might be access to the water over here too. That's a fire pit. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Serious. And then another trail there. Huh? I know, we need some rock. I'm spoiled. <laughs> I need my rock chairs. Yeah, yeah, I think somewhere around here you can get down there. So like if you want to take a dip or get drinking water, you can hit it. That's a rock chair. Looks quality. This one has stone floor though. That's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty legit. The wind's picking up. We're going to trudge a little bit further up. I do have one more campsite listed on the left up here. Is it any flatter? I mean, you got water access. Yeah. Awesome. You got a serious chair. Two. Wow, like a little overlook fire pit. Some ginormous pieces of wood. One tent site so far. Okay, a little waterfall through the trees there. It's just a shame that it's not quite tent appropriate. Alright. We're doubling back. I think the real reason is we ended up doing probably closer to 16 miles today and we really wanted to push it to 17 apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm walking back and forth. Earn that pasta. <sighs> home sweet home. We're back to the mega fire pit. Going to make it work. There is, if you go up this trail, another giant fire pit and some rock chairs way down there, but it's getting a little far from the water and it had a lot of debris on the ground and stuff so this is going to be it there's honestly a nice sandy spot right there and spot over here no major roots it's sandy i can dig it also just want to take this pack off and not put it on till tomorrow <sighs> end my phone here ended up doing wow with our little jaunt, we really did end up doing 17 miles today. Uh, and 1,700 feet of elevation because we did 17 miles. All right, save that, finish. I will put a link in the video description. If you want GPS data, I'll post that as well. But right now, I'm taking my pack off and get myself tent set up got my trekking poles of course and the tent itself here it is the body right here uh set it up once at home <laughs> so you know this won't be perfect but i'm going to give it a run i do know that i should have one of these poles at 117 centimeters and the, the other one around 105 and i'm just going to lay it out pop the poles in Hope it doesn't rain like, you know, right before we finally get here. Just pull in. My corner staked out. And now, some tension on the door. And then I can go around and fine tune it after I put the other pole in, of course. This is my shorter pole on this side.
Lift her up. All right. Find a spot without a Pennsylvania rock to get the stake. And I got all my stakes in. And a couple more tent spikes to go. There's my basic shape. And that went up with six tent spikes will do it. Um, but with an extra two, I can pull out these side panels here and um, really fine tune it. And also I haven't fully tightened all my corners. I left those kind of loose to set it up. So once I play with it a little more, I'll get it perfect. But uh, well, maybe not, maybe not perfect with, with my laziness, but it'll be livable. <sighs> Wasn't bad to put up and it used the same 13 ounce poles that I, um, Dave and I hiked with today. So win-win. <sighs> So, I will fine tune that, hydrate some water, actually, <laughs> should probably fill up some water because I finally killed that right as we were doing our last little jaunt there. Um, and at this point, it is 429, so we're still an hour ahead of when we got to camp yesterday. Nice. Um, and I can show you some more of the interior of that in a little bit and whatnot. There's, if you recognize that tent, that's basically the only only solo tent that I've been using for, for I don't know, four plus years or something um, that Dave has from Outdoor Vitals as well. And it looks like you just about fit in the spot. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Beautiful. <sighs> okay. Put my leaky pad in here that I blew up for no reason whatsoever. Just so I can guess I can see the dimensions of it in here. Um, which should be just fine. Got an actual bug net in here and um, a door with two zippers, which is pretty badass. I could roll that out of the way as well, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna throw my pad in there for later. And let's see. I think I'm gonna have my head up here so. I will keep <laughs> my air valve at the head end for my own sanity tonight. I got my pillow that doesn't leak. Put that in there. And my quilt. Which, honestly, I'm not going to bother taking out a stuff sack yet. Uh, because I'll be reinflating that pad. There's the interior. I mean, it's pretty long. It's plenty long. I'm 5'11". I'm going to have no problem. Um, I think Tayson, who owns Outdoor Vitals, is what? 6'2"? Yeah, and he was fine in it because I watched the video of him do it. So I am not nearly that tall. I will be just fine. You can see I got nice little airflow action going on over there. And honestly, if I was expecting like a bomb out storm, I have two more lines that I can clip anywhere. I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to bother today, um, but I could put them on these other D-rings and get crazy with it. And I could also by adjusting the poles and my tension on the lines i could probably get that even lower but you can see it's pretty far away so it's uh it's pretty good coverage and the um bathtub bottom comes up in kind of an arc that gives you plenty of protection from splashing i would imagine so all right that's good enough for me i don't think it's really going to open up on us right now because i'm feeling pretty good and it doesn't feel like it but if it does, at this point, I'm good to go. I can grab my stuff hastily, throw it under that vestibule, say goodbye to Dave, <laughs> sit, sit alone in my tent, and as long as it's not raining too hard, we'll just shout back and forth to each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably what probably wouldn't work with the projector tonight, so I'm glad we did that um, last night when we had those big boards. But yeah, feeling pretty good. So, what was I saying I was gonna do? Yeah, that's right, I was thirsty like half an hour ago, so I should work on that. I'm realizing I hiked alone so much that having Dave here, he points out logical things to me that I would otherwise not think of. Like, why am I still using chemical treatment for my water that takes half an hour when he brought one of these? I don't know. But I've learned my lesson. 
Got the water boiling. It's been 10 ish minutes. I only have so much patience. Some beef, some marinara. Ooh. Still too hot to eat. It tastes good. So, dinner is served. Camp is pretty much set up. So, um, I think our biggest agenda now is to stare at flowing water. Just fine with me. Mm. And no YMCA yet. Dave's got an estimated time in. It's Seven o'clock. I'm feeling like it's probably a pretty good bet, but we'll see. It'll be an hour and a half from now. It could happen. I will give him an hour and 20 minutes before sunset. I'm rooting for him. Sun, 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 sunset. That is rain. Yeah, I know. We got to get back and put our stuff away right now. You good on your stuff? Yeah, We're putting stuff away. Holy crap, that broke quick. I said it. Get yeah, yes, you did. Not too bad in here yet. Yeah. I wanted to throw my. Oh. Oh, let me just get my crap in there. Get my stuff situated. Hopefully, it just passes real quick. Oh, all my electronics. Yeah, you did say it got pretty dark. <laughs> All right. Oh, there, spot messenger. <sighs> Another USB charger. All right. All right, well, I guess maybe it'll pass by the time I finish my pasta. <laughs> I got a little bit of air in my pad still. I luckily, I had a couple roots over here, but they're under the vestibule. Thank God. Uh, remember that shelter? Mm. <laughs> yeah, oh well. It's probably pretty dark in here, so I don't know if you can even see me. But I'm situated now. I have a little bit of my pasta left. I got my water in here. I got all my gear, my camera stuff. And um, just hoping this passes. And once again, very happy that we got here by four-ish instead of right now. Because that would be slightly different, a uh, little bit more stressful situation. But I'm in good shape right now. Mm -hmm. um, so finish my dinner and we'll see if the rain goes away. I feel like I'm telling a spooky ghost story with the light underneath my chin. I'm sure it looks great. Um, not raining is heavy, still raining, although it probably sounds worse than it is, but I'm not going out there yet. Um, it is, hold on, I gotta do a time check. I hear multiple voices, I think it's the YMCA. 613, if that is them, they beat us by 47 minutes, maybe even 50 minutes. Um, do feel a little bad, they were in some um, heavier non-hiking clothing and they almost got here and they just got dumped on with rain. But the voices sound like they're in good spirits and it's not, <laughs> it's definitely not cold. So they're gonna be fine. But I think they made it. And I'm still stuck here. Oh my god, it's the most sun I've seen all day. That's ironic. I, I thought I saw it popping out there. Yeah, it was hitting, it's hitting mine. 
Unfortunately, it's sparing you. I think it's just drips now. I'm doing a check for you. <laughs> a ch no, I'm doing a rain check for you to see, because you know, sometimes it sounds horrific and then you come outside and you're like, oh. Especially with the cover. Yeah, and just dripping through the trees. I think it's just drips right now. Like the sky is not terrible. I mean, new tent works. I can tell you that. I can tell you that much. Yeah, it works under stressful conditions. No problem. Easy access. Just vestibule works. Check. There's no weather band service here. Dead zone. Usually that is pretty well covered, but not here. Still daylight. The airbag line is prepped for later. Is that a proper PCT hang or even a proper hang at all? Um, probably not, but you know, I'm trying here, people. I'm trying. I'm trying to up the responsibility one step at a time. At least it's not raining. A little M&Ms for dessert. And we're within about 10 minutes of sunset. Been hanging out, talking, enjoying the fact that we weren't stuck in our tents like we very well could have been for the last hour or two. Um, but yeah, it'll be hike or midnight soon. So we'll probably be retiring soon, hanging out in our humble abodes. And um, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the morning as far as uh, what kind of rain situation we wake up to. Don't have the benefit of the shelter, so no matter what happens, that tent is getting rapidly stuffed into my bag. Wet or not, well, definitely, probably wet. But that's the benefit of the last day hike out, but we're not there yet, so. I will straighten up my things, and uh, then we'll probably call it and see what happens tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Birds are out. The sky is starting to lighten up. It's just after 6 a.m. and I'm going to get the food bag. Rained a little bit last night, I think. Drizzle, but nothing too major, which is nice. What's up? What's up, man? <clears throat> Made it through the night. Huh? Made it through the night. Yeah. Didn't get dumped on, really. No. Yeah. How'd you sleep? Oh my god. The leak has progressively gotten worse. So I just positioned the mouth the inflation thing by my head and was just inflating it as much as I could but still laying on it like probably ever probably went from every hour to potentially every 45 minutes <laughs> but thankfully your um your sit pad I put it under the pad like in the hip area so wow. that definitely I think gave me some time before I would wake up woke up starving yeah might do a mega breakfast and then ride it all the way out to the cheeseburger Folgers instant coffee. 
and we'll be back in business and some chicken pesto pasta. I'm gonna get as far as I can through it. I just thought, uh, I think I under ate yesterday. So I woke up, I don't even know when it was, early morning last night and was like starving. So we'll see if we can make up for it. Guess I'll break down some of my gear while the food is uh, rehydrating and the coffee's heating up. Um, sleeping pad obviously was a complete failure on this trip some budget brand from years ago from Amazon um, so that's that tank worked perfect um, so I'm just gonna start putting away my sleeping bag and stuff like that and I was actually thinking about it this morning because I was thinking what if it is pouring rain in the morning what's gonna be my plan and uh, I was thinking Obviously haven't experienced it yet, but with this is design it almost reminds me of with my hammock where I, I can stuff everything away The last thing I got to do is rip the tarp down real quick With this being only held up by two poles. I mean I could be under here put away all my stuff run out Pluck up the tent stakes and then all I got to do is pull these two hiking poles out and basically I got a, a tarp that I need to stuff into my pack Thankfully, as of right now, I don't need to do that, but in the future, I will remember that. Dave's spidey senses are tingling again <laughs> on rain. And based on yesterday's performance, I'm not going to bet against that. So... I think it is going to be time to drop this tent. I got all my stuff out. So I'm just gonna pull the corners up and drop it. It's not soaking wet. All right. I believe that's it. Camp is clear. Dave just went ahead of me to fill up some water. So, I believe we are out of here. No rain yet. We'll see. All right. They got out of town quick. There's only one YMCA tent left when we uh, headed out. So, it's about, it's. Uh, Pretty much eight o'clock, I believe, for us. So we're only a half hour behind yesterday, and we only have six miles, and uh, you know maybe 1,200 feet of elevation gain or something like that. So today um, will be a little easier than yesterday. If all goes well. We gained some elevation pretty quick. We're pretty far away from the water now. Um, and now we're on, I guess you'd call it like a mini flat section, somewhat. And we'll have a bunch of these little minor up and downs throughout the day. That's pretty much where our elevation will come from. Sounds like something, but it's not hitting us. So you might get a couple of rays of sun on your skin up here. A little vitamin D. Like we're on the fern roller coaster here. Up and down. Definitely a pretty cool little area. Um, have not seen water yet. And we didn't really expect to. 
um, for the entire hike out. So we did load up with our expected water, uh, worst case, or for the rest of the day. I think there's some water sources listed on here, but I would bank on that in spring maybe. <laughs> not, not after the conditions we've been seeing. The trail has uh, mellowed out for a bit. It's even had some sections without roots or rocks. Not right now, but it has. Uh, we're actually like halfway through our mileage already. We're at like 3.3 miles and it is 9.30ish. So making good timing for sure. And the sun's out. Saw one other pair of hikers hiking in opposite direction. A little bit more downhill and we'll be back in Maston. It's a little more mud and bugs for the final, final run. I do believe that is a road. Should be Pleasant Stream Road and the bridge should be just over here. And uh, the parking lot and hopefully the vehicle's still there too. Oh, wow. vehicle's right there. All right. Yeah, not going straight down that. They're going to make us walk a little bit more. So unless somebody steals the Jeep in the next 30 seconds, like Nicolas Cage or something, probably going to pull this off. There's our giant hearth that we saw on the way in. Now we are officially back at the vehicle. Going to call it mission complete. Survived? Survived, it was good. A decent taste of Pennsylvania. Welcome back to PI, Dave. Yeah, it was good. So, yeah, that wraps it up. There's a burger spot by him that I'm gonna be hitting after about two hour, three hour drive out of here. So, till next time, I'm Syntax77, and right now, it's cheeseburger time. <laughs>